What's up everybody, it's your boy Legit. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about a tip and or trick, or is it an exploit? That's up for discussion. Let me know what you guys think. If you feel like it's a tip and trick, awesome. If you feel like it's a, a, an exploit in Black Desert Mobile, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious because this is open for discussion and I honestly, I, I don't want to create a channel on my YouTube channel where people think I cheat in games and I don't want that. So it is something that I have used. One of my uh, subscribers actually recommended trying to use it in arenas. I have been using it. It does work nicely. There is flaws to it, but this is a tip and trick or an exploit. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. Before we get into this, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you check out the description down below for some additional badass black desert mobile content you won't be disappointed with that being said what is this tip and or trick or exploit what it is is in the arenas so let's go to my skills at or let's go to my info actually real quick so right now i'm at uh 2362 combat power i'm at 1225 attack power and 1137 defensive power so i'm ranked uh, as you can see there it says arena rank i'm on the far right down there uh it says I'm currently ranked fifth in arenas, okay? So I have all my gear equipped. If I was going to the arenas, typically because of my rank, I'm getting matched up against people that are about 100 to 200 CP stronger than me. And if I go into the arenas at this rank right now, um, I can beat some of them. It is obviously going to be a little bit more difficult. What you can do is you can actually unequip your armor. And I'll explain what this does. You can unequip your armor. Why your armor? Your armor gives defense, uh, defense power, defense points, DP. Your weapons and accessories give AP, attack power. So if you notice, my attack power is 1152. It was 1225, so it only dropped 75. However, my def defensive power is now 743. So I'm literally a glass cannon right now. My overall combat power is also 1895. It's almost 1900. So what happens is I go into arenas and sometimes I go into there and they're two, three, four hundred CP stronger than me, but I still have a chance at beating them because I hit a lot harder. I hit as if I was that same combat power as them. However, I'm a lot squishier. So sometimes I go up against people that are a hundred stronger, which it's easier. Sometimes it's only 50 or the same level. And then obviously that's where it becomes a little questionable. However, even when I'm higher ranked, I'm still going up against people that are a hundred to 200 to three. I went up against somebody that was six CP and almost beat him earlier with the full gear on so it is still possible it does still happen it doesn't matter what you're wearing it still happens as far as the arena ranks it fluctuates I've gone up against somebody that was a thousand CP stronger than me and then I've gone up against people that were um, you know one to two hundred CP below me nothing more than that dramatically but let's show you what this looks like all right so I'm 1900 combat power right now so this guy's about 140 CP stronger than me and the first thing I want to show you is how much damage that you take so, um, because you have a lot more attack power, you also have a lot less defense power to make up the difference. So, you can't take a whole lot of damage. So, when you're trying to do this, you really have to make sure you're paying attention at avoiding and dodging mechanics. Otherwise, what can happen is, is you can get one shot, like what happens right here. This guy's about 140 CP stronger than me. Typically, I'm going up against people that are two to three to 400 CP stronger than me. So, I literally can't get touched one time or else I do die. So, that is the downside. Okay, so let's look at the good side. This guy's 315 CP stronger than me. If I had my armor equipped, I'd be about 110 stronger than him. He is also a ranger. And as you notice here, he is taking a good chunk of damage. However, he shot me once there and once there, and I'm at 35% health. So maybe one more shot and I might die. You know, if he knocks me, I'm definitely dead. So I got to play super cautious because if I would have, if he would have hit me with combos like I hit him with, I would be dead because he's so much stronger than me. But because I'm avoiding his mechanics and able to dodge his abilities and hit him with combos before he can, I'm able to kill him because I have that stronger attack power, even though I'm a glass cannon. All right, so this guy's about 50 CP stronger than me. This is an example with my full gear on, what the type of fights they look like. So um, you can obviously see I combo him up there. He does take a decent amount of damage, not quite as much damage because he does obviously have more defensive power than some of the lower ranked people. However, when he does hit me, he's doing a lot less damage as well. So the fights end up taking a lot longer than as if I was to have my armor off. So the downside to having your armor off is you can't get touched. The upside is you do a lot more damage. So the fights go a lot quicker. Either I'm dying really quickly 
or I'm killing them really quickly. One way or the other, not this lollygag stuff that takes forever because we're dancing and we want to dance and play hide and seek for two minutes. So as you can see here, I'm still comboing this person up. They've hit me once or twice. Uh, I just healed, so I'm at full health. But I'm still able to hit them with combos. I'm still killing them. It just takes a little bit longer. So it's still the end result in the end, or it's still the game, same result in the end, in my opinion. It just goes quicker when you have your armor off. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I do up against, go up against good people that, uh, you know, beat me even when I have that armor off because they're, they're good with their character and they understand the skill. So I think the real result or the real answer is learn your skills, learn your combos, so that way you don't have to sit there and worry about a ranger dodging you the whole time because they're avoiding all your mechanics because you don't have your class mastered quite yet. So as you can see here, we're still going, nothing too fancy. He stunned me once there, but didn't do hardly any damage. It's a good fight, the guy's good. I think he might even have beaten me once. We do both have our brand new Christmas outfits on that we just rocked, that we just got as well. So the fight lasts a full two minutes. It's obviously going to take a lot longer to rank up and get some arena points as well. So it's going to be a lot quicker to take your armor off. Either you're going to die quick or you're going to win quick. The last thing I want to talk about is bots in the arena. Uh, this is the top. I think this guy's ranked third or second, maybe even first. Uh, but he is a top ranked uh, player in the arenas on Medea server region America. He is clearly a bot, as you can see right here. I have played against this guy a couple times, and he's been a bot every single time. I have gone against a couple of the other top players, and some of them are bots as well. It's unfortunate that that's how the game is, but it it, it if they're able to set up macros on their computers and just come in here and, and, and bot it up and, and beat probably about half the players and not be at their computers and still get top ranked in arena and get all that silver, then that's definitely an exploit and a cheat. But uh, I don't think the other one is. That's just my opinion. But again, that's why we're open for discussion. And you guys can leave the comments down below. But this is a top ranked player. Al Mini, you can go check him out on the leaderboards in server Medea. I do end up getting him every time because he's just a bot. You can avoid all his mechanics. But I just wanted to talk about the bots in Black Desert Mobile as well. And we do have a couple clips here. This is all, the next two or three clips is all players two to three hundred CP stronger than me that I do uh, fight in the arena. The one's like seven or eight hundred CP stronger than me, the last clip. So that way you guys can check it out and tell me what you think. Is it fair or isn't it fair? Is it a tip and a trick or is it an exploit? It's not going away, I can tell you that. So, um, you know, you're going to have to get used to it. It, it, people are going to be using it but if you guys think it's an exploit and it's a unanimous decision then i will stop using it let me know what you guys think in the comments and section down below otherwise i'll leave you these last two clips and as always i will see